My name is Alan Sylvia, and I'm with Hitachi Solutions. And in this video segment, well, I'd like to talk to you about other function buttons. Now, these function buttons are located on the left and right hand side of the interactive whiteboard. If you choose to work on either side, they're conveniently located for you. Also, these function buttons are tools that are most frequently used. And I'd like to show you the first one. The very top tool here is our input mode. You have the ability with Starboard to use your finger as an input device, or for that matter, any input device, or an electronic stylus pen. If I want to use the pen, all I do is simply touch this very first function button, and you'll notice the hand will go away. Now I'm in input mode. Now with the pen, I can move my floating toolbar, and then I can start my lesson. Okay? So, Again, by simply touching the hand and the status indicator go away, you're now in electronic stylus pen mode. If I touch one more time, the hand will reappear. Now I have the ability to use any input device. And in this case, I'll use my finger as my input device. So again, that is the very first function button, input mode. The next button that I would like to show you is the right click function. Now, Picture, if you will, if you're working at your desktop and you're using your mouse. We would like to use right-click function if we want to copy something or have right-click menu. So as an example, how you do it with the interactive whiteboard, our starboard, by simply touching to activate the right-click and then touching whatever you choose to have right-click function on. So again, this will work on web pages if you're looking to copy or paste something. Um, you have the ability to be able to use it. One more time, right-click function by simply touching. And now I'll touch the middle of my desktop and you'll notice that my menu or right-click menu will appear. So again, that's just a right-click function. The third button that I would like to show you is the starboard hide on hide toolbar. When you're in a lesson, you'd probably want to uh, maybe have this out of your way. Well, you can simply move it if you'd like, or by touching the button, the toolbar disappears. So now I can go over my lesson and explain everything, and then when I need to use a different tool, what I'll need to do is just simply touch again, and my toolbar will reappear, and now I can choose from any of the tools that I would need to use in my lesson. So those are the first three function buttons. To add a page, you'll notice that we are on page one of one. What I will do is I will simply touch this button right here, and it will add a new page. As you can see in my status indicator, I am now on page two. If I'd like to add one more page, what I can do is simply kind of go to this side by simply touching, You'll notice in the status indicator, I'm on page three, okay? So that is how you add pages. Now if I want, if I want to go back in my lesson and we go back to page one as an example, what I will do is I will hit this button, which is our back button. If I hit it twice, you'll notice I'm on page one. If I want to go forward, I'll hit the next button right below it. You'll notice I'm on page two. And then again, if I want to go to page three, just hit it one more time. So, to review, what we did was we simply adding pages, our page control functions, adding a page by simply touching that button. We're on page four. Going back, just hit the button below. Back one more time, we're on page two. And then if I want to go forward, simply touch the next button. So, our page control functions. I'm going to show you two very important function buttons. The first I'd like to show you is our topic list. The topic list gives you the ability to be able to move to different files or to your desktop by simply touching. If I want to move to my desktop, all I do is simply touch desktop and here I am. If I want to go now to my cyber lesson or the document that I have imported to use for my lesson plan, all I do is simply touch and it will bring me to my lesson. And if I want to go back to my whiteboard page, simply touch and here I am. Now the nice thing about this button is it allows you to access your applications or imported files without having to go to your computer. The next button that I would like to show you is the mouse button here. Now this button, located on either left or right side of the board, will give you the ability to go directly to your desktop. And if I hit it one more time, it will bring me back to my whiteboard page. So again, these two function buttons will give you the ability to be able to access content, go back to your desktop, by not having to go to your computer, by staying right here at the interactive whiteboard. I'm going to show you the function buttons that will allow you to change the color of your pen. The first one here, which is the black ink, 
just allows you to write with black ink. If you choose red, you simply touch that button, and it'll allow you to write in the color red. Now we also have blue and green, and then the last color button here is our highlighter. It defaults to pink. By simply touching, now it gives me the it activates the highlighter with the color pink. So those are the function buttons that allow you to change the color of your pen. I'm going to show you the function button that allows you to erase. Button right here, right above number one, picture of an eraser, simply touch, which activates the eraser, and now it allows me to erase. And that's all there is to it. That's the function button that allows you to erase.